I want to talk to you about one man who, as we know, wasn't involved last night and he goes by the name of Jane Sancho. I think by now we all know what's happened. Uh, left out for the Arsenal game, Ten Hag confirmed it was due to, to poor training. There'd been some comments on social media and um, we're led to believe that he's obviously not training with the first team and apparently also not even allowed in the, uh, to eat with the first team and, and stuff like that. Um, from maybe some knowledge you've got or even just speaking as a fan, which you are of Manchester United, what have you made of him? It's a mess, man. It really, it really is a mess, and it's, it's it's an unfortunate mess because I'm not going to shy away from how excited I was to to get Jane Sancho, and this, rightly so, and rightly so. Like this is a player who, at the time, was one of the top wingers in Europe. You know, so much potential to to go levels above. We chased him for two years. A lot of Manchester United fans at the time of of, of trying to get Jane Sancho the first time for like 120 million euros, whatever it was, just pay it. This is the problem, mate. Just pay it. Just get him. We didn't. We end up getting him for the best part of 70 odd million a year later. Um, but the excitement that that was around the place when he came, we really, really wanted to see him. And and the truth is, is that it's it's just gone from bad to worse. From where this is now. Um, to maybe him t- kind of teetering on the edge of trying to put some performances together, trying to live up to that expectation, trying to recapture his best form. It's just been really a really tough watch. But with this situation in particular, um, I stand with Ten Hag. I do. And I, and I really love Jaden. And I, I think he's a fantastic player. And I, I, and I would love this to to be reversed. You know, I would love to see this situation sorted. He can get back in the squad, start working hard and start proving all of these doubters wrong. Start proving that he can be um, the winger that we wanted him to be. He is that player that we bought. But at the t- at this moment in time, when Eric Ten Hag has been, like he said in his press, in the press conference about this, he's been brought in to, to, to bring standards to the football club, you know, to bring order to the football club. And for far too long, um, I think there's been too much player power at Manchester United, too much goings-ons where the manager's not in full control. And at the beginning of this, I did kind of say, oh, maybe Ten Hag didn't have to make this public. Maybe he should have just said he was injured, say he picked up a knock or say he was ill, something like that. But I think with this, with the severity and the strength of Jadon Sancho's response, with him saying there's things that I can't go into here, uh, why I, I'm being made a scapegoat, you know, there's other situations why I'm basically not in a team which I can't go into. I I took that as, well, if Ten Hag would have lied in inverted commas and said he's injured, but he's not, I think Sancho would have said the same thing because that's not the truth. If he would have said he picked up an injury, um, I think, again, he would have mm. come strong and said, you're not telling the truth. So Jaden Sancho feels aggrieved. But in terms of sorting it out, though, I think if you're going to undermine the manager in public like that, as strong as he did in front of... 2.3 million Twitter followers and more because it's going to get amplified because it's Jane Sancho. You have to expect ramifications for that. You know, I I was always in the in the notion though early on when this happened. I was like, he absolutely can't play against Brighton out of the international break. Some people were like, look at the situation with Anthony. We don't have any right wingers. We're decimated with injuries. I don't care. That that, that you know you need to set Manchester United's Eric Ten Hag's tenure at Manchester United is bigger than a couple of game spells or when some, a few players are injured. It's bigger than that. He needs to set his stall out from now, especially off the back of last year, how he dealt with Cristiano Ronaldo, how he dealt with Marcus Rashford for being fractionally late for a team meeting. These are things that players remember. You know, you have to set the standard. So if Jaden Sancho was able to just pay a fine and because Man United are decimated with injuries, come into the squad and play against Brighton, that sets completely the wrong uh, issue. What does that say to Alejandro Garnacho, who's had his own problems earlier on with trying to you know, figure it out as a professional early on in his career. What would that say to Facundo Palestri? What would that say to Hannibal Mejbury? What would that say to all these players? What would that say to senior players like Marcus Rashford? You know, uh, what would that say to them if 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 you're able to do that? So, I just think I would I would like to have seen him apologise by now, get it sorted. Where there's a way a way back, but that doesn't seem to happen. So that was going to be my next question, you Okay, I, I think everything you said there, by the way, I think you've hit the absolute nail on the head. I think standards have got to be implied. Have got to be um, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Have got to be set in place, right, at Manchester United. And I think you're absolutely right. First game after the international break, yeah, come back, Jaden. It sets out a dreadful message, and I like the way Ten Hag dealt with this. He, you know, when Sancho went through problems last season, we were led Helped to believe him. anyway. Eric Ten Hag went out of his way, go to Holland. I've got these people to look after you. I don't, I don't believe for a second it's one bad training session no. and Ten Hag's gone, no I'm going to nail you in public, I'm going to embarrass you and I'm going to let you, you know, not train with the and first also, team. And also, let's it, not forget, 
the, the, the weeks before that, the fixtures before that against Forest, against Wolves, against Spurs. Yeah. He was on the bench yeah, yeah, and yeah. came off the bench, I think, in yeah. every single game. Yeah. To a point where Manchester United fans, because Anthony didn't start very well, were going, why is Jade not getting a chance yeah. here? So the tide was starting to turn. Question for you then. Yes. I think Ten Hag's there with the well. What now? Surely, Jaden Sancho, even if he sat in his bedroom right now playing Xbox and he thinks he's been hard done by, right? He's a professional footballer, right? Me, you and probably 99% of other you know boys and girls in this country are desperate to be professional footballers. Even if he thinks he's hard done by, surely someone's got to give him a clip round the ear and say you're playing for Manchester United. You're a seriously talented footballer. Don't waste your career. Knock on Ten Hag's door tomorrow morning and say, I'm sorry. And say, boss, what do you need me to do? Because I'm convinced that even if there's a long way to go, that if he knuckles down in training, if he works his backside off, says sorry, and starts working hard, I believe there's a way back. Yeah. I, 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 really, I, I really think, I really think there has to be a way back. I, I, I think Ten Hag... I don't think there's a way back, Sam. Even if he's, even if he does what I've just if said, it, if, it, if he says, if he said, my thing was, even if, before it got to this stage where it was early, before we knew that the kind of refusal to say sorry and this route, this this part of it. I always thought this is not good because I think even in the long run, I think he, he would have, in an ideal situation, said sorry, get, got back training. But I never, f- I, I, I just don't feel Ten Hag fancies him. As I a player or as a yeah, player? Or I don't, maybe a bit of both. I don't, I, I, a bit of both, which, which I know you can look at two ways. You can say, you're a manager, it's your job to get the best out of the players. This is a big asset for Manchester United. It's supposed to be unlocking. But I think the players have got to take some responsibility exactly. sometimes, don't they? As I just well, think and... I just think the characteristics that Jaden has, I don't think work simultaneously with Ten Ha's ideology of a winger. But I, I I agree with that. But then maybe in the short term, even if it's just but he could have got back January, in January, yeah. He could have got did, back in. But, but but if if Sancho goes to Ten Hag though, yeah. and as I say, completely apologises and yeah. knuckle down. Yeah. You know, Ten Hag surely has to oh, then would... allow him back into oh, the fold, oh, doesn't absolutely. he? Yeah. Oh, if that happened, he would have been back in the squad. Pro- what It would have been like maybe the Ronaldo situation. What I, what I anticipated was a statement would come out from Manchester United and due to disciplinary reasons, Jane Sancho will not be part of the matchday squad for Brighton. Mm. And then he would have paid his fine, back. done a match, um, one match suspension. And we move on. And we move on. But do, you feel, do you feel disappointed? Do you Very. feel let down by Jane Sancho? Are you angry with Jane Sancho? You're a Man United fan. I'm, you've got a player I feel there. Let, that... I, I feel let down. I feel let down. I do. And the reason I feel let down isn't all because I'm all trying to pile in on him. I feel let down because I know he's better than this. Mm. I know yeah. there's a player in there. You, you look at the player at Dortmund and you're right. I'm a, I'm a Liverpool fan. And when United sign, you think you've got to be joking me. This kid's got everything. He's got everything. And, you know, from, and even from an England point of view as well, right? Yeah. This is an England team, an England era where we're hoping in the next couple of tournaments, they're going to win something. And he's like miles off so. being an England team. Oh my goodness gracious me. Miles I mean, off yeah, it. And, yeah, yeah. and I actually, listen, I've got a lot of time for Jaden. Anytime he's around Have you met in the before? mix zone, loads of times. Is he a nice loads. boy? Always comes over, always friendly. says hello, friendly. You know, and, and I did, I did when the media were kind of, uh, there were some reports after this, which is what I don't like. It, they started it's a sort of character assassination in terms of some people have said he's really shy. Some people have said sometimes he's loud. Sometimes he's shy. Sometimes he doesn't speak. They were trying to get him to do an Adidas press run or, or kit launch and it was hard to get him to engage. Right. Let's not go down that route. Sure. Let's just let's just stick to the fact that okay. he's undermined the manager in public and that's why he's in the wrong. So I'll always stick up for things that I feel are right and I will home in on the things that I think are wrong. And I can't... Def- to me personally, there's obviously clearly stuff from Jaden's part that we don't know yet because he spoke about it in public and said there are other things of which I can't go into. Doesn't help us, mm. but from his point of view, he's saying that. But to, for me to say I'm not disappointed with him, yeah. I, I'd be lying because I am. Um, I don't know if you know this, I don't want to put you on the spot, yeah. um, but do you have any inside knowledge in terms of how the other United players feel about the situation? I read a report on... Again, in the newspapers, that um, come which paper it was, the majority of the players, vast majority, are um, in the camp of Eric Ten Hag. Yeah, and I, and I'm not surprised to hear that. I mean, uh, some information that I was told was that there was a situation regarding the announcement that Jaden was going to say sorry, how that was going to be portrayed. So he was fine to say sorry. But the way that I believe the club maybe wanted to announce that was going to be to say that publicly Jaden said sorry and I think there could have been some kickback there um, with some of the information that I got told so 
the truth is, I mean, we'll, we're, we're not in the four walls, are we? I'd love to be a fly on the wall to find out really exactly <laughs> you, what it is. You get closer to more I than, know, more than many, but, <laughs> but I'd, I'd love to say I'd, 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 that that close because I, I'd love to know what's going on. Yeah. But clearly, I think what we do know factually is that there is a standoff and Eric Ten Hag's absent, having absolutely none of it until he gets what he sees as a fit and right and proper apology and I stand by that. Yeah, I, yeah I'm a Liverpool fan but as I said but I've got a lot of respect for the way I think Ten Hag has in certain situations the Ronaldo one the Rashford one mm. this one has sort of, of, of held his own. And recently just quickly he Go said on. it's up to him. Like when he's been asked on Sky yeah. yesterday, I know he did say I won't speak about players that are not available and some people are saying that's what he should have said the first time. When they said why is Jade not in this squad for Arsenal he should have said I don't talk about players who are not available it would for have selection. Eventually come out there, wouldn't it? Like, You're just dodging it. You're would, just it dodging it. In the next game, You're wouldn't just it? it? But he said it's up to him. Mm. So this is up to well, Jaden whether he comes back or not. Let's hope he can, because one thing that is a fact here is he's a seriously talented footballer, yes. and it's an absolute waste that he sat, you know, on his Xbox playing playing FIFA or whatever he's doing when he should be out there playing for Man United. Yeah, yeah, seen And it's sorry, that's a very good point. <laughs> and also England as well, right? There's a Euros exactly. next summer, Jaden. Come on. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker, Talksport.